Wolfenos with a surprise drop, 128 gigabyte image for the Raspberry Pi 3B and 3B Plus, running the latest version of RetroPie here with a nice Dwayne Hurst theme on it. It has the Bezel Project pre-installed, has a custom launch screen, uh, about 25 unique MP3 files with the classic retro games, everything from uh, Toe Jam and Earl to all sorts of Sega and Nintendo classic theme songs, easily disabled or you can leave it on. And you might be wondering, what's the big deal about this? Well, everyone seems to love Wolf and Nose's 32 gigabyte uh, arcade only build. I think he made a 64, I want to say, or a slightly larger one. And this one, he turned it into a 128. He took that classic arcade set everyone liked, put it on a fresh build of Retro Pie, and then threw on some consoles. Some of the consoles he threw in the whole ROM pack, so you can get all the games, like Super Nintendo, for example, and other systems like Sega CDs and Nintendo 64. He was more selective and uh, just put kind of the best of the best games on there. Uh, he has said that this is going to be one of his last builds he's going to release. Um, some people use his images as base images to build off of because they're that great. Um, and before we get into it, what I'm really liking about it is this arcade set. If anybody's looking for a really, really awesome arcade set with some games that aren't on a lot of other images as well as all the correct cores selected and everything working really well with artwork and metadata and all that stuff. I would have to say this arcade classic 2200 optimized games is just nostalgia galore. So let's go ahead and see what else is on here. So a couple of things when we jump in here, first thing to notice it has over 800, 8,800 game titles on here. Uh, the file size itself is 118 gigabytes. That's going to be 127 billion, 458 million, 268,000 bytes rounded up. And uh, you're going to see a bunch of collections here on the left. Um, that's because it is an arcade image. So there's some collections like SNK Classic, Sonic games, Street Fighter games. And as you know, there's a bunch of different Street Fighter games. Um, this font is a little big, but something I do like about this theme is that it has that kind of high score arcade uh, font. So I think it's really cool. But as you see there, with some longer games, you will have to it will have to scroll the um, game. Um, as you see, it is uh, pictures and then video snaps, and then as I mentioned, there are loading screens as well as the bezel project is installed. So you will get specific bezels for the actual games you're playing. Um, what I was saying, though, is that there are a lot of collections here to the left when you first start out and you boot up the image. So let's go ahead and start to the right over here. You should start around all games, favorites, or last played. And then what comes first is that arcade set that I was telling you about and how awesome it is. You can easily hit select, which you're probably going to need to just because there's so many games on this image. Uh, but with a hit of select, we could start from the beginning here. And you can just see as I scroll... Um, it would take me a really long time to see every single game, but look at all the artwork. And you're probably going to notice games you've never noticed before. This is not filled with filler. This is not some arcade dump. This is like hand-selected, a lot the great of the great games. If you ever downloaded a, a Raspberry Pi image or Retro Pi image, you're like, hey, it didn't have this game on it. You know, I would have to say that this is one of those images where you're more than likely going to find it. Um, we're going to see this also have Daphne installed, Dreamcast, you have one game, but the emulator is all set up for you. Um, it has all the options for you, Easy Hacks Toolkit, Bezel Project, uh, you know, all the add-ons you're going to want as far as background music scripts, theme scripts, all that good stuff. Um, I don't want to spend all my time in here, but I do want to give you a good idea of what's in here. So I'm just going to kind of scroll down uh, as we go. And uh, while I'm scrolling down talk a little bit about how you know some people have tried to copy Wolf and Nose's base images and build off of them kind of taking his work and uh, you know calling it their own uh, you know slapping a fresh build of RetroPie on it just updating it and saying oh yeah this is new uh, so do not be fooled um, I think this 128 and to his point will be one of the um, he said it will be his last I've heard that before not from him, but from other people. And, uh, but he, to his point, he was mentioning, um, 
how not until the Raspberry Pi 4 comes out or something much uh, more powerful that, you know, at that point he can think about, you know, adding, you know, uh, Dreamcast potentially or, or more, or I'm sorry, uh, GameCube or even more Dreamcast or Nintendo 64, stuff like that. So as you can see, it's 2,200 games. You're going to see I, I play a little G.I. Joe later. Really cool game. Haven't spent a lot of time on it. And just that I wanted to keep playing, but I also need to finish this video. So I was like <laughs> uh, doing that. In case you're wondering how, you know, I make these videos, I typically like to play around with the image a little bit before, you know, rather than just, you know, going or going straight into the, you know, oh, these are the games and that's it. This is the RetroPie build. You know, I do tinker with it. I do boot it up and down and turn things off and on and just make sure everything's working good. Um, and then play some games, of course, make sure the controls are set up correctly and all that stuff. And uh, the reason I bring that up is um, this image is really snappy. Uh, I'm using a Sandus Ultra, which is really good. Samsung is also very good. The Plus or the um, even just the, the Select is a really good... Uh, SD card, and I am running this on a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. It is not overclocked. Um, you probably don't need to overclock. You can if you want though, especially if you have a good cooling case. You might get some better performance in uh, some of the heavier arcade games or Dreamcast. And um, I brought up Snappy because this image boots up super fast. <clears throat> and as you can see me scrolling in the wind, in the just an emulation station, which isn't a lot. You know, most images are really you know, smooth, but uh, because it's only 128, it really does boot up fast. The more games you throw on, no matter what kind of memory you're using, it, um, you know, it just takes a little longer. And this image is at the 128 is uh, very snappy. So um, do you know that for those of you that like super fast, super performance, no lag, uh, so far it's passing all the tests. Wow, can you imagine? <laughs> do you get, do you, do you, <laughs> are you not entertained by all this? Yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna hard scroll the rest. Oh, you even got the verse games from Nintendo. Um, so, really, X Men, you're gonna have your WrestleMania games, all that good stuff. Look at that. And all the artwork, look, not a single piece of artwork missing. That's what I'm talking about. That's the type of work that goes into this thing. Atari 2600, 579, 5272, 7866, Atari Lynx 82, Coley, Co, Vision 117, Daphne, you do have three, Dragon's Lair 1, 2, and Space Ace. Kind of the best of the best there. Dreamcast, you just have one, Marvel vs. Capcom. Easy to add more though, especially, um, you can put this image on a 256 gigabyte and then just expand it and then throw in those ROMs. Nintendo Game & Watch 59, Game Gear 282, Game Boy 563, Game Boy Advance only 92. So here's one where he didn't throw the whole ROM pack on, just the best of the best. Game Boy Color 535, Intellivision 174, Master System 336, Mega Drive 702, Mega Drive um, ja Japan Mega Drive is uh, 423. Nintendo 64, this is where I was kind of like, uh, you know, because Killer Instinct is not going to run well. GoldenEye is not going to run well. And I think this is kind of what he was saying, how it's kind of going to be Pi 4 ready. Um, same with the, some of the cruising games as well. Uh, some of these other games will play, like 1080 will play, um, I forget, Castlevania, it's not ringing a bell. Diddy Kong will definitely run fine. F-Zero will run fine. Um, Mario Kart should run decent. Uh, and uh, some of the Star Wars games run pretty decent. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, that not all of them will be perfect, but 38 of those. Neo Geo 136, all your favorites there. Speaking of arcade images, I mean, you got to have the Neo Geo. Nintendo 813, um, PC Engine CD, you get three. PC Engine Regular, you got 149. So this is pretty cool. Ports, these are full games here. So you got Wolfenstein 3D, you got x Rick. you got, um, I don't think I've played this one before. You got the Steam Link pre-installed. You have the Zelda <clears throat> hacks installed. Quake 1 and Quake 3 Arena, uh, Prince of Persia, uh, Pixel Desktop, uh, a couple other um, games here. Mr. Boom, uh, more like SimCity type games. you got quite a few there. Uh, Gianna's Return, which is a cool, cool game. Um, it was it's, If you like Mario, check this out. Duke Nukem 3D, especially the original Mario's. Doom 1 and 2, Descent, um, Cave Story, and uh, Cannonball Outrun. So some cool... Um, Cool ports there. 
those are some fun ones to check out if you got some time. So this is really cool on the 128 is they still had plenty of room for some uh, PlayStation games. So really cool in case you're wondering what is on here with the PlayStation. Just a quick scroll for you. A lot of Mega Man's, um, you know, the kind of more of the bigger games on here. Crash Bandicoot's on here, of course. Tony Hawk Pro Skate 2. Uh, Twisted Metal 2. Uh, and then options we'll go into later. Sega Genesis 32X33. Sega CD 37. Uh, Super Famicon 136. HG 1068. Super Nintendo 781. Super, Super Graphics 5. Turbo Graphics CD 17. Turbo Graphics 1694. Vetrix 23. Uh, Philips Video Pack 131. Virtual Boy 24. And then here we go. These are all just collections. Um... And so I'm going to skip all those. These are just collecting. They're not additional games, okay? Uh, he has 32 favorites. So some cool games to check out over here. If you have not already. Really cool games, by the way. Um, and then uh, options. I just want to show you really quick that um, it has a lot of really cool and pretty much all the scripts you probably want. Everything from GPIO shutdown if you're running like a, a switch on your... Um, you know, case on a Raspberry Pi case to the Easy Hacks Toolkit, as I mentioned, which has all those scripts installed to the Bezel Projects pre-installed and and it's installed and it's it's enabled. Uh, Hursty's themes, media removal, uh, the jukebox. It's all set up for you. You can just uh, transfer ROMs to the jukebox folder in your ROMs directory and uh, switch Genesis Mega Drive switch. Oh, and this has a track mode on it. The jerk. So there you go, track mode's looking beautiful. I really like the full screen videos. Um, it's a little laggy, that's to be expected with the Raspberry Pi 3. But uh, if you're running a bar top or something like that, I would totally enable this, especially if I had guests over or something like that. Uh, personally, I'd probably spend most of my time in emulation station, but it's uh, totally, totally cool. I'm just trying to sh find the, um... okay, there you go. So there is a RetroPie menu on here as well. So we can go into there. And then there you go. You have all your scripts, and you can get back to Emulation Station from here as well. Uh, but all the same scripts you found. Like, see, this is running good. Once you're in the rooms, it's running a lot better. Um, really, really cool stuff. So there you go. Fully functional a track mode uh, as well. <laughs> Making it through. Alright, the hardest one out of the way. 
Now let's get the second hardest one out of the way. Alright, here we go, here we go. It's gonna be a 5 0 run here. Here we go, here we go. Come on, baby. What? Get wrecked. Uh oh, orange suits. Don't watch out for the orange suits. This is a game where it would help if you had a. Um, turbo button. <laughs> Woo. Whoa, look at these freaking dudes. They just did they seriously just dab on me? Dang, I didn't know G.I. Joe's knew about the dab way before the millennials did. I like how he does a backflip when he uh, gets burned. Could be a different player. Get right, kid. Oh, did I just get an upgrade on my gun? I highly recommend this game. Highly, highly recommend. Start select out. Final thoughts, final grade. Definitely gonna get have to give this one an A plus. I've actually been waiting for a 128 gigabyte image because we haven't had a lot recently everyone's been going for the 256s so for somebody who has a 128 lying around for those of you around here that are just you know every dollar counts it's really nice to see that 128 uh image you know getting a little bit of love especially because it kind of it was the the growth or the starting point to some of these larger images um but as i mentioned wolf and O's goes above and beyond there's a few image image creators and I'm, since this is wolf and I, wolf and Nose's review i'm going to focus on him that really go above and beyond he's definitely one of them he definitely cares uh, about the community he takes his time he you know you don't see a lot of his releases all the time because that's exactly the point is he spends a lot of time testing um looking around asking questions um you know trying different cores and you know all sorts of different setups and when he updates something he checks everything else uh, if he messes up he's really quick to typically start over versus some other people might try to find a quick fit fix for it um, so with that amazing image loving it love the size love what he's done with it personally i won't do much to it as far as where i'd be spending a lot of my time if i was to play with around with this image some more after this video is definitely getting into the port section over here and that arcade collection um if i'm going to be building a bar top this would probably be a go-to image for me um especially with a track mode working and everything else as far as wolf and and everyone's like make a 64 or do a 256 um he's got some smaller arcade sets out there for the raspberry pi and then if you're interested he has a couple images out there for the o droid and i would say all those images are really great contenders even today so in case you're wondering he has already done a lot of that stuff so they are out in the wild i've probably done a video about them and 
you know, they're out in the, with their in the with the typical uh, people that um, typically do retro gaming. Um, so with all that said, uh, A plus work, really awesome to see. Shout out to Wolf and Nose for another really really great project. And uh, I can't wait till we have a Raspberry Pi 4 and a new image. Uh, but for the meantime, I know I'll be enjoying uh, this one. But um, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.